everyone at Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, we have some awesome paper crafts coming up on my channel. Stay tuned. Y'all, today is going to be another spectacular video demoing how we can create some of the poshest paper crafts without breaking the bank. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new subscribers and to all of my new friends. Welcome back to all of my longtime subscribers and longtime friends. Thank you all so much, so, so very much for the wonderful ways in which you're supporting me and my channel. I appreciate everything that you're doing and if you're interested in helping to support the channel, I do have a brand new Patreon that I launched last week, I think it was. But if you're interested in joining, the link is in the description box. And if you like what I'm doing with the channel, I'd love to have your support. Today, we are going to take some ordinary items and create the extraordinary. I'm going to show you how easy and how inexpensive it is to make something like this. But before I do, make sure that you join me on Saturday, March 4th, because I'm going to show you how we make this beautiful, beautiful album from a gift bag. You guys really, really did let me know that you're interested in a project like this by hitting the like button. So on Saturday, March 4th at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, I will debut how you can make something as beautiful as this from a gift bag. But back to this cutie. I'm going to give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. Here's a closer look at what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making this beautiful three and a quarter by three and a quarter inch book style box, but inside it holds some three by three note cards and envelopes. Now with this one, you're able to get four envelopes and four three by three note cards on the inside as long as they're flat and they're not chunky and raised with embellishments. So here is how mine looks on the inside. Y'all, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the spring look of it and we're going to make a belly band to go with it. And for those of you who don't know what a belly band is, it's basically a wrap that's used as a closure on a box or a bag. And you'll hear that term a lot in paper crafting. When you hear the term belly band in paper crafting, we are talking about something that's used as a closure in the form of a wraparound on a project. So this is what we're going to make. We're going to make two cards and I'll show you how to make an envelope. But like I said, if your cards are flat like these, you're going to be able to get four of them in your box along with four envelopes. So here is what we're going to need to make it. You're going to be amazed at how simple this is. Y'all, it's all going to start with some tissue paper. There are so many beautiful tissue paper sheets out there that you don't have to break the bank when you're looking for ways to create your own specialty paper for a specific need that you might have. So if you wanted to make a whole bunch of the same design, tissue paper um, overlaid on cardstock is a great way to create your own paper. Now I found these beautiful tissue papers at the Dollar Tree, but you guys know if you've ever given a gift, and I'm sure you have, there are plenty, plenty of low cost options for purchasing tissue paper. I used this particular one on this project, but today I think I want to use this one. So for me, this is going to be a chipboard project and I am using a medium weight chipboard if you're interested in the chipboard, there is a link in the description box to my Amazon storefront. And in that storefront is a link to a variety of items that you'll frequently see me use on the channel. So my chipboard measures one by three and three quarters. And then I have two pieces that measure three and three quarters by three and three quarters. And I have my paper for the box and this measures seven and a half by seven and a half. I am using a medium to heavyweight cardstock for the box because I won't be adding any chipboard to it and I want it to be nice and firm. Then I have the piece for my belly band and this piece measures one and a half by 12. Then I have my inside liner piece and this piece measures eight and three eighths by three and a half. 
And then for this project, I'll need two pieces of three by six white card stock, and I'll be cutting it out from this to make the cards. Then to make the envelope, I'm going to need a piece that measures five and a quarter by eight. And then to make my own specialty paper by adding it to the tissue paper, I need a piece of cardstock, and I've decided to go with white, and this piece measures 11 by 6. So y'all, let's go ahead and do the belly band so that we can have that glue nice and hardened. So on the one and a half inch side, let's go ahead and score at 3 quarters of an inch. And then I am just going to give that a nice crease. Take my glue, and we're going to place some glue on this so that we can get it nice and stuck. And so there's my belly band. I'll set it to the side and just let it dry. So now I'm going to go ahead and just make the box since I have my scoreboard out. And we have a piece that is seven and a half by seven and a half. Let's score our box at one and at two on all four sides. So that's one and two on all four sides. One and two. And then we're just going to fold and burnish all of these scores on all four sides. So now that we have all of our scores folded and burnished, we're going to go to the second score mark here and drag straight down like this and then we'll angle in, go to the second score mark, drag straight down and angle in, and then we'll angle here to remove that corner piece, and then we'll reduce that piece. And this is what we're going to do on all four sides. So let's go up to the second score mark, drag straight down, angle, go to the second score mark, angle in here, angle here, and reduce. Same thing over here. We go to that second score mark and drag straight down. Then we angle and now we can go to the second score mark here. Go ahead and angle in, angle here, and reduce. And so now that we have our piece like this, we're going to have two ends that aren't angled at the bottom. We angle these two here. Let's go ahead and angle these two. And that just makes it easier to put the box together when you're folding in the way that we're going to do. You don't have to do this. I just do it because it makes it a little bit easier for me. So now I'm going to take my glue. We're going to place our glue on these tabs. And now we will match corner to corner like that. Guys, make sure you get everything nice and tight. Then I'm just going to take my bone folder because it's easier to go in on a box like this with my bone folder than my big old spatula. So I am just going to match this corner. Go in and get that nice and stuck. And We'll place our two bits of glue there. Bring this up. Get it stuck. Bring this one up. Get it stuck. Go in with my bone folder to make sure I have a really good stick. So now I'm just going to take my glue, place my glue on these outer flaps. We're going to fold them in and get them nice and stuck. So let's just go ahead, fold those over. I use my bone folder to go in and get the stuff. And we do this on all four sides. So then I'm just going to go around to make sure that I have everything nice and stuck. And so there's our box. So now I'm going to bring in my tissue paper 
and my white paper. Now I have run this through my Xyron sticker maker. If you don't have a Xyron sticker maker, my other method of getting adhesive onto the um, cardstock is by using my Elmer spray adhesive and I do this outdoors. If you have something else that you want to try that I'm not using in this video, please go ahead and give that a try. I use either my Xyron or my Elmer spray, but if you're using something different and you want to know if it'll work, go ahead and give it a try. So I'm just going to open my tissue paper and I'm going to make sure that the printed side is face down. And I'll take the white paper and I'm just going to place it down like this. Now I chose to use white paper. Yours does not have to be white. You can use whatever color you want, but I really wanted this to have that green and white look. So whatever colored paper you're using, that will dominate the overall look of your project. And what I mean by that is, you see how the pink paper underneath changes that look? Your cardstock is going to determine the true feel of your project. And because I'm going with greenery, I wanted to make sure that that greenery stood out. So I am just going to go ahead and just remove all of this excess. And then I'm going to use my big old spatula to go in and if I have some wrinkles that I'm not happy with, I'll use the big old spatula to iron out those wrinkles. For those of you who want to use a hot iron to do this part, go ahead and try that hot iron and if it works for you, that's great. But I think that for me, just smoothing out with my big old spatula is just fine. So now we're going to take our chipboard pieces and when we place them down, we're going to place them down like this. So we'll be placing them down with about an eighth of an inch and spacing in between. So I'm going to go ahead and just peel away the tape backers from the double stick tape that I'm currently using and y'all I'm almost ready to share what I think of this tape with you guys. I'll do that in a video pretty soon. So let's go ahead and place this piece down and you see how much space I'm giving myself in between. We don't need any more than that. And then I'll peel away these backers and we'll put this down. Y'all seriously, thank you so much for how you're supporting my channel and for those of you who've signed up for my Patreon, you really are helping to make a difference on how I'm able to manage my channel. So I really do appreciate it. So I'm just going to smooth this out. And y'all really, isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to take my stylus, press it into the paper, and run it along the edge of the chipboard. And this is just helping to give me a nice little score. And now I can stand everything up and we're going to get this folded. And now I'm just going to miter my ends and basically all mitering is, is where I've created this crease and this crease. We created what I hope, what I hope you can see right here is an intersection this way and this way. Where they meet is where we try to cut. So I want to leave just a little bit hanging over so that I can have those nice professional edges to mine or professional corners when I fold over my paper. So now I'll be bringing in my glue, place some glue there, stand this up, fold it over and get that nice and stuck. And we do this on all four sides. So now I'm going to take my double stick tape and we're going to place that down so that we can cover the chipboard. Then I'm going to bring in my liner piece that measures eight and three eighths by three and a half. And I am just going to go around the perimeter of this liner piece, placing 
double stick tape. And then all we need to do is peel away the tape backers from the liner piece as well as the jacket. And now we can take our liner piece and I am just going to place it down, trying to get it nice and straight and even like that. And then I'm just going to go in and make sure that I have a nice stick. Then we go in and find spine number one and we work it very well. So we're going to get that nice and defined. Then I'll flip it around, find spine number two, and we'll work it. And y'all, there is the book for my box. Don't you just love this print? It is gorgeous. So I'm going to take my box and we're going to put it in just like this. I am going to take this box and I will be adding glue to the back of one side only and I'm making sure that I get a lot of glue in those corners because I don't want this coming undone. Then I'm going to take glue, make sure I get glue in these corners and then I'll just fill in. So now we can take the box and the end that has the glue is the end that we're going to take and put along the spine. So I'm just going to take this, set it down, press it against the spine. I want to make sure that I have it nice and even and I think that I do. So now I'm just going to press it, go ahead and work that glue in. And I'll take my foam folder, go on the inside and just start pressing that into the base. Y'all, you want to make sure that you allow this part to dry completely because you don't want it pulling away from the spine. All right, y'all, so I'm going to set this to the side for just a moment to let it continue to dry. We're going to go ahead and make the cards as well as an envelope. All right, y'all, I have a piece of six by six that I have run through my Xyron sticker maker to put the adhesive on the back. I am just going to take this piece and down in this scrap square, place it down. And now I'm just going to trim out all of that excess. And of course I'll be saving this because it is a beautiful, beautiful piece of tissue paper that I want to use somewhere else down the road. And then I'm just going to smooth out any wrinkles and I really don't see any. All right, let's go ahead and put this in our trimmer. It is a six by six. So we're basically going to put it in at three inches and trim. And we're going to end up with two pieces that measure three by six. Then we're going to take these and on the six inch side, let's go ahead and score at three. And while I have the scoreboard out, we're going to go ahead and score the envelope. So we have a piece that is five and a quarter by eight. On the five and a quarter inch side, let's go ahead and score at one, rotate it to the opposite five and a quarter, and score at one. Rotate it to the eight inch side, score at three, and six and one eighth. And then we simply fold and burnish our scores. I'm only making one envelope for demonstration purposes. Like I said, this will hold four envelopes and four flat cards. So right where we have the intersection here, our goal is to free the center tab. So we're going to cut in this way, cut in this way because this is what we want to keep. And so I'll angle in here and then down here, I'll angle in as well. We're going to do the same thing over here. We want this. So we're going to just free this. And now we're going to angle in here. 
and here. And so now I'm going to grab my scissors and just round my corners. This is just something that I like to do. You don't have to do it. You can leave your corners squared if you want. But if you have a corner rounder, you can use that for this. If you don't have a corner rounder, you can see that you really don't need to go buy one. So now my envelope looks like this. I'm going to fold in and add just a little bit of glue. I don't know how well you can see that glue on the bright white paper, but I basically just added it close to the inside. Then on the bottom, which is the widest part of the envelope, I am just going to add some glue to the outer edge. And now I can fold up and we have ourselves a stinking cute little envelope. So let's go ahead and take our cards because we've scored them. Let's go ahead and fold them. And so now we have two cards in our envelope and I have decided that I am just going to use some stickers and ephemera to decorate. So I think what I want to do is, let me see what I can find in here that I might want to use for the um, belly band. So I'm just going to use this part. So to make your belly band, start on the bottom by laying it like this. And then I'm just going to take it and fold it over and fold it over here. Now what you want to do is make sure that this is able to be removed and placed back on. So you don't want to make it too tight. Once you have it the way that you want it, then I'm just going to go ahead and crease those little folds that I made. And now I can put it back on. Bring in my glue and place some glue here and then some glue here. Fold it over so that the two meet. Get that nice and stuck. Now I can take this piece that says wishing you the best. I'll add some glue there and some glue there. And put it on the top just like that. So now we have an instant cover and wrap to our box. So let's go ahead very quickly. I am going to use my stickers to decorate my card. And I think on this one, I am just going to put congratulations because y'all, we can make these all occasion cards, which is something that I like to do. I don't like to make all the same type. I like to make card sets when I'm giving them that will cover a whole bunch of different things. So I made this one hello and congratulations. Then on the inside, I am just going to add that right there and this sticker right there. A very quick way to make these little note cards that go beautifully with our box. So now I'm just going to take the envelope and I want to put a little something on the envelope. Nothing too big, just a little something. I think I'm going to take this and we're going to place it right there. And then I'm going to open this because I want to put something right here. And I think I'm going to take the sticker that says best wishes because I like how that looks. And we're going to place it right there. And now y'all, just like that, we have another really stinking cute way of creating our own note card sets. We used tissue paper and cardstock and some scrap chipboard. Easy peasy, inexpensive paper crafting. But does this look inexpensive? No, it does not. So I have brought that first one back in so that you can kind of, sort of, get a look at what we can do for next to nothing in supplies. Did not take us much to be able to do this. Anyone would be proud to receive this as a gift. And if you're making these for craft fair sellers, spring craft fairs are right around the corner. This screams spring. So guys, I hope that you have liked today's really awesome project. If you have, please hit the like button. 
If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting. We'll chat later. Bye.